Hi everyone, it's Melissa. Um, I just wanted to do a short review on all the products I got from Birchbox and MyGlam. Um, because I've tried out all the products so far, and I'm just going to jump right into it and tell you what I think of all the products that I got. Well, first, I'm going to start with the Marbella Eyeliner. Uh, okay, there we go. Um, it's really nice. It glides on really smoothly. The only thing is I did wear it uh, swimming because it does mention something about waterproof and it is not waterproof. Um, my e.l.f. eyeliner stays on better than this in the water. This came right off so it is not waterproof. It's nice for an, a day wear but um, if you're going swimming or anything to do with the water it's going to wash right off. So that's one bad thing about it. So I would not purchase it um, ever. So, yeah, I can find better eyeliners that stay on way better. Next, we have the NYX. Um, I think I forgot to say what shade this was in. It's in Saturn. Um, it's a really nice color on your lips. Don't put too much, though. Um, if you got this color in the My Glam bag. Um, because it doesn't look attractive if you put, if you overcoat it, but if you put a light coat on it, it's a really pretty color, and I just love it. I love putting this on. Um, it's probably one of my favorite lipsticks right now, so. Um, next thing is the Ico London Skinny Liquid Eyeliner. I actually have it on my eyes right now. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I like it. I definitely like the color. Um, it's a little dark purple. I would have liked a lighter shade of purple, but it's all right for trying out. Uh, I've, I'd never really use a colored eyeliner. I've always used black or a brownish color. So I was definitely interested in that. I think I'm going to purchase more colored eyeliners and I wouldn't mind purchasing it by this company again either. Um, next thing I have is the moisturizing skin cream that I got. It's UB. Um, I actually just tried this because I, I wanted to put it in the review. And honestly, it smells like Vicks, um, vapor rub. You know, the kind you put on, like, your chest and stuff to make you breathe better when you're sick. So, I wasn't too keen about the smell. And it feels like any other any other like lotion so I wouldn't purchase this again at all no I mean not again I've got it for a sample but I wouldn't purchase it okay next um take a deep breath by philosophy um honestly it's a gel and I have really really dry skin and just gels don't do good on really dry skin so I wouldn't purchase this product, but I would love to try um, the other moisturizers. I'm not saying this is bad at all. It actually um, did moisturize my skin, not, a, not as much as I like, but it was alright. I'm not going to put it down. I wouldn't purchase the gel one again, but I know they have different kinds of um, moisturizers, so I would definitely like to try some of their others. Okay, and... I've got the the floral rot water, the rose floral water. Um, it's all right. It's nice to spray spray on your face. Um, it does smell, and that kind of worries me when stuff smells. And I'm putting it on my face, and I have really sensitive skin. But I've only tried it once, so I would never purchase it. But it's really nice to have. Hopefully, it doesn't irritate my skin. It didn't when I first did it, so I don't think it will. Next, this is my probably favorite product I got from My Glam and Birchbox combined. Um, I recently tried this, the Living Proof Styling Cream, and it works really well. I was surprised. Usually when I come out of the shower, I put a bunch of products in, and it still comes out frizzy. And when I put this in and let it dry, it it was not frizzy. It definitely lost its frizz. I was 
impressed. So I would definitely, out of everything, purchase this again. Most definitely. All right, that's all I have for you today. Um, I am also posting another video of my June favorites, so look out for that. And thank you. Bye.